you win games by scoring goals, right? But for us, like, I just enjoy defending. It's the best part of the game for me. Even growing up, like, I just loved slide tackling. I loved getting my body in front of the goal. Like, for me, it's the same as scoring a goal, for sure. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to score a goal on the odd occasion. But for me, it's just about getting a clean sheet. And that's what I know for the defenders at Tottenham, that's what we strive towards, is getting a clean sheet every game. And if we do, it's like a massive celebration for us. I think if we're talking defensively, it's reading the game. I think that's a massive part of my game, especially like I would own up to saying I'm probably not the fastest player on the pitch, but if I can read the game, I can normally get myself in front of an attacker. If we switch it, I think the modern day centre half is a ball player. I've been quite lucky that you know, I grew up in, at Arsenal and I naturally was kind of taught how to play technically and it was all about quick combination play. So growing up, I kind of naturally fell into being quite a technical player. For me, it's a lot of distribution play. I think it's a lot about getting the ball, switching it, knowing that you can play longer, shorter balls with disguise. That's what I like to do if I was to do individual stuff after training. Um, other things we can do is dealing with crosses. I think that is where a lot of goals are scored in this league. So if we can deal with crosses better, body shape, knowing how and where we can clear the ball, I think that also is something that I would do. What I would probably say is a normal day for me is turning up at training, head onto the field, do a tough session as always, make sure we're getting in the detail we need to get in, and then we're going for lunch. Lunch is amazing. There is so much selection. It is actually the best. Um, our chef is amazing. And then normally after that, we're straight into the gym, weights, making sure we're preparing in that way, getting stronger, fitter, faster. And then literally after that, shower and head home. There's always room for improvement. I want to be even better on the ball. I want to be even better 1v1. I don't want to ever get beat in a 1v1. I think that's what I try and set my mind to every game. But I think the other part of it is dealing with the longer ball. I think, to be fair, it's about going to the coaching staff and seeing what they can do in that way as well. But that can also be off-pitch based. And I could be working on my speed or my agility or power in how to turn quickly or body shape. So, Sometimes it doesn't even have to be hard, strenuous work. It can literally be in the gym or even analysing it like on the television and seeing, OK, maybe I should have done this or my body shape should have been different in this way. So there's different ways you can do it. It doesn't always have to be on a football pitch. My advice to become a pro footballer would be to enjoy what you do, more importantly. I think, you know, as a footballer, sometimes you forget about it's actually what you love. And as long as you love what you do, then you'll get the best out of yourself. Football was always in my heart since I was a young kid. I didn't play with dolls, I kicked the ball around. It wasn't like I ever, you know, did anything else. But I didn't really have access to many girls' teams when I was growing up, which I think is so much different now, coming back off the Euros. Like, what the girls did in, for the Euros and for this country is incredible. And there is now so many more teams out there that girls can go and play, and it will be at a good level. Whereas I think growing up for me, it was a little bit different. So I would say go and play with girls now, because there is so many more out there. And there's so many more clubs coaches that are willing to really push girls and women's football and that's what you want to see.